Welcome to Wine Roots TV. Today we are going to talk about wines that are made from the Nebbiolo grape, but we're not going to Barolo or Barbaresco or to the Piemonte region at all. We're actually going just to the north of that, actually to the north of Lombardia region, to a location called Valtellina. Valtellina sits just south of the border with Switzerland, and you can see the Alps from there. Vineyards are planted on terraced mountainsides and run east to west along the north bank of the Atta River that's just south of the Swiss border. This results in a unique combination of sun exposure and wind conditions that make for very special wines. Now if you're familiar with Barolo and Barbaresco, or Nebbiolo from elsewhere in Piemonte for that matter, then you're familiar with that tannic grip you get in your mouth when you drink it. Um, it's the trademark of a Nebbiolo. The Nebbiolos from Piemonte also have a lot of balance with fruit, floral, and earthy flavors. When you go to the north from the Valtellina, the Nebbiolos are similar in their tannic grip. However, they take some time to soften and open up. They can be a little bit sharp in the early stages, but when you, get, you give them time to open, either in a glass or in a decanter, you were rewarded with an amazingly complex wine. As always, when you're looking for wine from Europe, the labels can be confusing. Sometimes labels denote a grape, other times they denote a place. And in this case, when we talk about the Valtellina region, uh, what you're more likely to see on the label is in fact the location, Valtellina. So I have two examples here in front of me both from a producer called Coven in the Valtellina Valley. We have one that is a Valtellina Superiore. That's a denominazione in Italy, which means it is a protected location. Uh, you will not see the name of the grape, Nebbiolo or Chiave Nasca, as it's called in Valtellina. But what you will see is either Valtellina DOC, or in this case, as I mentioned, Valtellina Superiore DOCG. In this case, this one also has the label Reserva, which means it's spent a little bit more time aging, um, in this case, in oak barrels. Um, the other style from Valtellina that's very interesting, analogous to an Amarone from the Veneto region, analogous in that it's made by drying the grapes for two months at least, sometimes three months after they're harvested. And the result of that is you get these big, powerful, red Nebbiolo wines, they're beautiful. Um, and that's called the Sforzato di Valtellina. That will also be named on the bottle as such, uh, Sforzato di Valtellina. Again, no Nebbiolo um, or Chiavi as it's known locally in the region. Um, so knowing what to look for on the label can help you to find these wonderful wines. Normally in a store, uh, if a store carries Valtellina wines, you will see them um, given that shelves tend to be organized and labeled by regions. You will tend to see them near the Piemonte wines, uh, which would also include the Barolos and the Barbarescos. Happy hunting, and I hope you get the chance to try one of these wonderful wines soon.